Yeah. It's Halloween day. As I was practicing my water drum, I noticed that the half gallon empty glass jar sitting next to it was emitting a sound. And this got me to thinking about resonance and frequency and how in my per particular personality, past lives, skills and deficits, retrogrades and direct energies, throughout life I stirred frequencies of all sorts and always invariably detonated vortex energy bombs of the same frequency that I was emitting for example one time perhaps a decade ago when I was a younger man boy I was talking trash probably for hours, you know, generating the loose, probably being mind controlled by the, the certain species that I didn't know existed in a very angry state of mind. And so I came to, to Westcliff. I just always have had this policy, the coyote on my totem pole of, of letting loose my tongue, uh, just letting it all out. So, but I was in a negative headspace for several hours. So I went to Westcliff, <clears throat> and this man who would never let me sit in his van when he went up to do something, he didn't trust me that much, but he always gave me a, an entire bowl of, of ganja every time I sat in it with him, who perhaps was, um, helping several of my homies um, with certain, you know, bringing certain plants around. And supposedly he, he might have been involved with other things that were negative. He was an older man and he was on cancer pharmaceuticals. And his he had an older dog who also had cancer. And being a somewhat uh, of a naive young punk, I actually put my nose up to the crack in his van window, his back window, and, and his his elderly female dog actually bit a hole and a little hole in my mouth or a crack in my you know drew blood. So my friend Ricardo happened, Richard happened to be there, and he gave me a. A, a big clean rag with a whole bunch of ice in it. And, uh, so then I, I rode my bicycle to the herb room. And who was in the herb room at that exact moment? But Valerie Corral, one of the inventors of the original medical cannabis law of California, the first re-legalization law in the United States of America. They say along with Jack Herrera, Dennis Perone and their lawyers, and perhaps the second or third cannabis club in the state of California was called, is, is called Wham. And so I remember back in the day at their Christmas party and shopping there. And it seems like I, I bought some, uh, coconut 30 milligram coconut oil thc capsules for a dollar two dollars probably never happen again so i voted no on the, uh, the legalization for uh, recreation over 21 law in 1996 or rather 2016 because it was written by George Soros and, uh, and and Sean Parker, and they with 500 pages of rules, and it was basically a corporate law. We, everyone was pretty scared it was going to be Kmart weed, and 
I really would like to big up some of the, the stores along 41st, especially for defying this, uh, this idea that, that ganja was going to become so taxed that, that only the wealthy could afford it and uh, to, to providing that service uh, uh, of overturning that through, through the love and, and care and dedication that I, I used to see in the, the Santa Cruz cups. Anyway, so when, with the new law, there was not only no uh, compassion. Uh, I guess if someone want, wants a medical prescription, uh, it's like a, a have extensive process. You've got to go to the Capitol and pay $200. I don't know if they changed that yet or not, but the whole thing is interesting because uh, so Wham has, I guess they don't know if they have a delivery service, but... Uh, you know, there's a rumor that, <clears throat> that that everyone that worked there had had to take the V, and um, so it's really heavy for me to think about that the duality. But yet, the um, you know that person has has been the uh, actually literally the, the the physical mother of the medical movement. So I'm really super thankful. So so the story goes: um, when I got to the herb room, I, a little non a little trail there, and my my rant here. Yeah. So when I, I got to the herb room and I see Valerie Corral and, and, and she gave me a hug and then she gave me a whole box of, of Kleenex. And um, like I said before and, and some of my other uh, videos, I don't know if I, if I posted those or not, but I, I got, I, they said I fell over my bicycle and got hit by a PG&E truck September 1st, 2021, I broke 15 bones and 15 days in the emergency room in uh, Santa Clara. And, uh, and I, and again, after that, uh, it was sort of like, um, well, now I have to really go in and get serious about the Holy ghost and get serious about the Christ, the goddess, the medicine, the healing of planet earth and my body, my spirit and the spirit of all of us. So, so Valerie, so when this um, this elderly dog had bitten a hole in my lip, and again, I, I, I mentioned this because I was thinking about re resonance and how that day I was on that frequency for that, you know, psychically traumatized um, canine to attack me. And so, but then when I went to the, the herb room, I was in a, in a high enough state of mind to run into the mother of, of medical cannabis, literally. And, uh, and so she gave me a whole box of Kleenex and she said, well, I guess we do get as many chances as we need. And it took me a while to decipher what she meant. And uh, <clears throat> I'll bring up my accident of last year because I think what she meant is, is she was referring to me having an old soul and, and defying death or, or living through. You know, being a cat with nine lives in this one body, even for example, and um, just how that is how the the spirit itself rolls. Is that's you you get eternal chances, but yet the now is is all where the power is. The only moment that's a hundred percent real is this this one, and if I if I do a bad job now then I'm going to suffer later. So, um, but when I decided to take a, a moment to rock out on my hobo water drum, <clears throat> I noticed this empty jar was making a sound. And so resonance is the key to, to the healing of the individual and the collective and, it's the way to hell and also the way to heaven because when you follow the, these fear-based messengers, the very low frequency, low resonance, they can lead you right into a very self-destructive place very quickly. But with the faith in the Most High and the positive high frequency, one can elevate to, say, discoveries, inventions, new meditations, new songs and, and new ways and so that is the myth of resonance <clears throat>